Hello everyone, Learn Day Today here and today I want to talk about some important factors that can affect your spiral abyss performance and maybe some of you have been wondering why you weren't able to clear spiral abyss even after reaching adventure rank 50 or 55 or so in this video I want to emphasize on some reasons why you're having a hard time clearing the spiral abyss and it's not about you suck in this game or your team is not good for spiral abyss well yes it can be a factor but it's not necessarily the issue here so with that being said let's jump right straight into the topic Every character in the game can actually beat the endgame content of Genshin Impact with the right investment and gear to do a decent damage. And when I say investment, we're talking about uh, money and then time. So I put these two on the list first because I want to talk about these two things here. So these are the most important factors that can help you beat the end content or endgame content in Genshin Impact. So number one, let's talk about money. So investing money is the fastest way to get stronger in the game. Don't get me wrong on this, okay? I'm just stating the facts. So we'll spend your money in the game, not just to enjoy things and make things easier for them, but to also save their time grinding to get a decent weapon, character, or materials, or so. For some people, time is more valuable than money and some some prefer not to use their money instead they just want to use their time to grind for things and get things stronger in the game so some are willing to invest more time in the game but before anything else let me clear on this topic okay I either of the two is not a bad thing it's just a matter of your own perspective spending money on the game is literally helping it to continue and keep running for these following reasons so this is a business okay and they also need to earn for a living mihoyo is a company that have employees developers and engineers that needs to get paid for creating such a wonderful game servers that needs to get paid monthly to keep the game running 24 7. imagine the number of players all around the world and the database of each player so if Mihoyo don't have any servers to keep the to keep the game running, where will they put all your progressions? So I hope I was able to paint a picture on your mind about the things that the gaming companies need, like overhead expenses just to keep the game running. We're getting off topic here, but I just want to mention these things for us to understand how people who spend money helps the game keep running and going back some people prefer to spend money instead of spending more time in the game maybe because they have more important things to do or they're just busy in real life or for whatever reasons it may be but this doesn't mean that once you spend money in the game you can beat it or you can already beat the end game content so there's still a little bit of grinding that needs to do and that's a good thing about Genshin Impact so when you spend money in the game uh, it doesn't really make you overpower that you can uh, beat every single content in the game there's still a little bit of grinding that needs to be done you can argue me on this that whales are stupid wasting money on a video game well, all I can say is, if you love something, you're fine spending money on it, right? Because it makes you happy. You can't say that someone is stupid because they buy food for their pet, or they love doing it. Or paying your water bills because you've been watering the plants on your garden. So you can say that these type of people are stupid. They're fine using their money like spending it on the things that they really wanted or they really love it is not about how you spend it 
it is about why you spend it and if you love something there's nothing wrong in spending it right unless you're responsible enough to where you spend your money now let's talk about time so this is a major factor or one of the reasons why you're still struggling in spiral abyss you may be adventure rank 50 or 55 right now but how long have you been playing Genshin Impact? Reaching those adventure rank level doesn't guarantee you to beat the hardest content in the game because why? RNG exists. Yes, RNG exists in Genshin Impact and almost everything is random from characters, weapons, and also artifacts. That's why every player is almost unique to one another. We have different character levels, we have different constellations that affect our damage output, we have different artifact stats that affects the damage output. So we have different team compositions as well available on our character pools that helpful in different floors of Spiral Abyss. So if you've been playing like 3 months or 4 months but still cannot beat the Spiral Abyss, it's totally normal it's not your fault okay it's not that you're bad in this game you just haven't spent enough time building your characters wanna ask me why well it's pretty simple everything in Genshin is time gated yes we are living in a resin based progression so maybe some of you uh, have already cleared spiral abyss at adventure rank 55 or so but trust me i know that these players have been playing since day one or maybe they have been lucky with the characters and weapons uh, on their wish especially artifacts speaking of artifacts i know this is a major pain in the ass to farm you can spend hours weeks or months by farming it and end up getting the rubbish one we can say that this is bullshit but for me it's really a good thing you know why rng and artifacts gives us a chance the new players to catch up with the long time players and it's a it's a great way uh, to keep the game balanced between whales light spenders and free to play players if you know what i mean and like what i talked about earlier about money um people can also be irresponsible in spending their time this is just an example okay some people may skip classes just to play video game which in my case <laughs> i'm really guilty on it when i was young or not getting productive anymore and using all your time playing all day all week just like money you might as well consider spending your time wisely and here's some advice from a friend to you you can lose money but you still have a way to earn it back but once you lose your time there's no way you can get it back again so what I'm trying to say here is try to balance everything and have a balanced life if you're rushing things too much it's not healthy for you as a human being you might even stress yourself out and get burned out you know what i mean now i want to talk about resin so this is also related to what i'm talking earlier about time okay so resin is equivalent to time in genshin impact i mean you need this to build your team right from farming experience books talent books weapon materials almost everything everything that you need to build your team and i know we can all agree to this but we don't have the luxury to level up everything in the game because of yes because of resin can you imagine how many resins do you need just to level 90 a character and a weapon as well how many resins it may cost we're not doing math here i can assume you already have a picture on your mind about the enormous amount of resin that you need to build a character so if you're just new to the game and there's a player tells you that i beat spiral abyss when i was at adventure rank 50 or so it's so totally fine because they've been playing long enough and use so much resin to build their characters maybe with a little luck i guess they can be faster 
but trust me on this you were gonna beat the game if you have the right investment okay for me if somebody tells me or asks me why I haven't beat the game yet after getting Adventure Rock 55 well it's fine to me because I'm not here just to get stressed pushing pushing myself to clear Spiral Abyss at some point um, I play this game to enjoy and not to stress myself so take your time enjoy the game nice and slow you will beat it eventually Spiral Abyss is a big DPS check and you cannot just barge in and beat the hardest content in the game with half a team that's not fully built uh, you get the idea right and by the way guys 97% of you watching my content is not subscribed to the channel yet so if you feel generous in supporting my content don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel it means the world to me and in return I'll keep you guys posted with the latest updates tips tricks and guides about Genshin Impact so that's all for today's video guys i hope you like it and you can leave a thumbs up if you like the video comment down below on your thoughts and the things you want to know more and i will be happy to make a content for that again thank you so much for watching the video and see you on the next one peace out